Welcome to the End All Disease podcast and video series. Whether you're watching or listening, welcome. If you wish you could pack on 10 to 20 pounds of muscle, but don't want to have to go through the trouble or the pain of injecting anabolic steroids, then this presentation is for you. This presentation is also for you if you're a bodybuilder who is looking for a secret weapon that will give you the edge over your competition. We've already seen the remarkable muscle performance enhancement that red light therapy can give you in episode 14. But what about muscle growth? Can red light really help you pack on more muscle? In this presentation, we're going to find out if red light therapy can help you build bigger muscles and the body you want, whether it's for that upcoming bodybuilding competition or to boost your confidence and overall health. Welcome to the End All Disease Podcast. Here's Mark. And welcome to the show. And like I said, I want to thank you for watching. And if you are unfamiliar with the show, I provide evidence-based nutrition, cancer, um, red light, and overall health research that you're not going to get anywhere else. So if you're into that kind of thing, you're, you will absolutely love this show. So subscribe now and you'll get all future updates. This episode, we're going to talk about red light therapy for muscle growth and bodybuilding. So let's get started. So the goals and the aspirations of any bodybuilder are as follows. High testosterone. Testosterone is an anabolic agent, which means it helps you build muscle and add to your frame. And that's exactly what a bodybuilder wants to do. Another thing bodybuilders want unanimously across the board is low body fat. So preparing for competition, you want that chiseled look when you're on stage there flexing away. So that's a combination of low body fat as well as obviously dehydration. So muscle mass is the next one. And that's just obvious. That's one of the main things a bodybuilder is looking to do. That's why they spend all the hours in the gym and all the time buying food, preparing food, and eating food. Strength is not something that's at the forefront of a bodybuilder's mind, but who doesn't want to be strong? It adds to your confidence and it can, I think, help you build more muscle as well in the end too. The other thing that a bodybuilder wants in his bag of tricks is quick recovery from workouts. The quicker your body and your muscles can repair and rebuild, then the quicker you can get in the gym and work them out again. Another thing that bodybuilders want is quick recovery from injuries. These are all the things we're going to look at. Let's get started, starting with testosterone, part one. Can red light therapy boost testosterone? First study is in rats. So in 2013, Korean scientists from Dan Cook University and Wallace Memorial Baptist Hospital tested light therapy on the serum testosterone levels of rats. They basically shone the light on the rat testicles and then measured the testosterone levels in the blood before and after. 30 rats aged six weeks were administered either red or near infrared light for one 30 minute treatment every day for five days. So five treatments over the course of five days what were the results? Here's a quote from the study. Serum testosterone level was significantly elevated in the 670 nanometer wavelength group on day four. So four treatments with red light testosterone level was significantly elevated. Interestingly, testosterone wasn't elevated nearly as much in the near infrared light group. And my theory as to why is because near infrared also comes with heat and testicles are one of the tissues in the body that are sensitive to heat, which is why wearing tidy whitey underwear has been shown in studies to reduce sperm count and testosterone levels in men because pressing the testicles against the body will elevate their temperature and they dangle for a reason. They need to be that way. So applying near infrared light, which administers heat also, I think that's the explanation. That's my theory, at least as to why testosterone levels were raised more when red light was applied to the testicles than near infrared. To continue the quote from the study, thus, the light therapy using a 670 nanometer diode laser was effective in increasing serum testosterone level without causing any visible histopathological side effects. In conclusion, they wrote, the low level laser therapy might be an alternative treatment modality to the conventional types of testosterone replacement therapy. So this study confirmed that testosterone can be raised in rats using red light therapy. Now, just because it happened in rats, that doesn't mean necessarily that it would happen in humans. Although from my research, many times the results in rats are the exact same when they tested on humans. Thankfully, we do have a human study on this exact subject. Russian scientists tested the effects of light therapy on human fertility and couples having trouble conceiving. So the study tested a magneto laser, which is magneto laser therapy is red or near infrared laser light administered 
inside of a permanent magnetic field. The study included 188 males diagnosed with infertility and chronic prostatitis, and it was conducted and published in 2003. The treatment was found to, and I quote, elevate the levels of serum sexual and gonadotropic hormones, and remarkably, one year later, pregnancy occurred in around 50% of the couples. So a 50% improvement of fertility, and the mechanism behind the improved fertility was improvement and increase of sexual hormones, one of which includes testosterone. So there we have it. This study showed red light can increase testosterone levels in human beings. Next section, body fat. Can red light therapy melt body fat? Brazilian scientists from the Federal University of Sao Paulo tested the effects of light therapy using an 808 nanometer laser on 64 obese women in 2015. The subjects were divided into two groups. Group one was the exercise, which includes aerobic and resistance training, plus phototherapy. And group two was the exercise with the same training and no phototherapy. So exercise plus light and exercise plus no light. The study took place over a 20-week period during which exercise training was performed three times per week. Light therapy was administered at the end of each training session. Remarkably, the women who received near-infrared light therapy following exercise doubled the amount of fat loss compared to exercise alone. So yes, you can get two times increased fat loss if you apply red light following your exercises. And I think before exercise will be at least as beneficial, if not more, than if you just exercised alone without light therapy. Additionally, the women in the exercise plus phototherapy group were reported to have a greater increase of skeletal muscle mass than the placebo group. Which brings us on to our next section. Part three, muscle mass. Can red light therapy boost muscle gains? In 2015, once again, Brazilian researchers wanted to find out if light therapy could build muscle and enhance strength in 30 male athletes. The study compared one group of men who used light therapy with their exercise with a group that did exercise only and a control group. The exercise program was eight weeks of knee extensor training, so they're working their quads. The wavelength of light used was 810 nanometers, which is near infrared. The dose applied to the quads was 240 joules. The results were as follows. The men that received the light therapy before training, and I quote, reached significantly higher percentage changes compared to the exercise only group for some of muscle thickness, isometric peak torque, and eccentric peak torque. In fact, the muscle thickness and strength increases were more than 50% greater for those who used light therapy before exercise than those who didn't. So 50% increase in muscle gain and strength is what you can get from red light therapy. And that leads us to our next section on strength. Australian and Brazilian scientists investigated the effects of light therapy on exercise muscle fatigue in 18 young women. The wavelength they used was 904 nanometers, which is near infrared. The dose applied was 130 joules to their quads. It was applied before exercise. And the exercise consisted of one set of 60 concentric quadricep contractions. So if you think of a leg extension, the concentric contraction is the on your way up. If you're doing bench press or shoulder press, let's say for the ease of this demonstration, it would be on your way up like this. And this would be the eccentric contraction. So women who received the laser therapy before exercise were found to have significantly reduced muscle fatigue and reduced ratings of perceived exertion. So they didn't think they worked as hard as they did. It didn't, it made it seem easy. The light therapy increased peak torque, time to peak torque, total work, average power, and average peak torque. The study concluded that light therapy was effective in reducing fatigue levels and increasing muscle performance in young women. So there you go, red light benefits, increased time until exhaustion, reduced perceived exertion, increased torque, increased power, and increased total work. How's that for a muscle enhancer? Next section, we're gonna look at recovery. So recovery in this context basically means how long does it take for you to go from exhausted during your workout back to ready to go again? There was actually a review conducted on this in 2015 where researchers analyzed trials that used red and near infrared light on muscles before exercise. And what they found was that the time until exhaustion and the number of reps performed following light therapy increased significantly. Here's a quote from the review. The time until exhaustion increased significantly compared to placebo by 4.12 seconds and the number of repetitions increased by 5.47 after phototherapy. So anyone who works out knows that almost five and a half more reps for a single set is huge. That's about 50% more since most people do maybe 10 reps on your average set. 
We conclude that phototherapy with lasers and LEDs improves muscular performance and accelerates recovery, mainly when applied before exercise, concluded researchers. Red light therapy benefits, increased reps, increased time until exhaustion, and accelerated recovery. Part six, we're gonna look at injuries. So in this context, it's if you already have an injury, can red light therapy help you on your way to recovery and help you recover more quickly? A 2014 review looked at 17 studies, so this is a dense slide right here, dense with anecdotal information, on the effects of red light therapy on skeletal muscle repair for the treatment of muscle injuries. To quote the study, the main effects of low-level laser therapy were a reduction in the inflammatory process, the modulation of growth factors, and myogenic regulatory factors, and increased angiogenesis. All are a part and parcel of the recovery process of muscle injuries. The studies analyzed demonstrate the positive effects of red light on the muscle repair process. The findings suggest that light therapy is an excellent therapeutic resource for the treatment of skeletal muscle injuries. And part seven of this presentation, last but not least, overall performance. What can light therapy do for you? Can red light therapy enhance muscle performance? A 2016 review and meta-analysis by Brazilian researchers looked at all existing studies on the ability of light therapy to increase muscle performance and overall exercise capacity. 16 studies involving 297 participants were included in the review. Exercise capacity parameters included number of repetitions, time to exhaustion, blood lactate concentration, and lactate dehydrogenase activity. Muscle performance parameters included torque, power, and strength. And the study found that when laser therapy was applied, lactate levels were reduced, peak torque was increased, number of reps was increased by 3.51, and time to exhaustion increased by an average of 4.01 seconds. There was another review conducted a year later. This was by United States and Brazilian researchers who worked together on this review, which included 46 studies on the use of light for sports performance in athletes. One of the researchers in the study was Dr. Michael Hamblin from Harvard University who has been researching red light for decades. The study concluded that red and near-infrared light therapies can increase muscle mass and decrease inflammation and oxidative stress. An interesting quote from the study was as follows. We raised the question of whether light therapy should be permitted in athletic competition by international regulatory authorities. What they're saying there is that red light is so effective for athletic performance enhancement that they're putting it into the idea of the regulatory authorities to perhaps ban it. I, although I don't know how they would possibly do that because if you step out into the sunlight, you're going to get plenty of red and near-infrared light. As of right now, it's completely legal. And if you're not using it and you're involved in bodybuilding or any kind of sports or athletics, you are wasting a massive opportunity to get an edge over your competition. So red light benefits for bodybuilding. We come back to our main screen to summarize things up. Red light boosts testosterone lowers body fat, increases muscle mass, red light increases strength, speeds recovery, and prevents injuries. What more could you want from a performance enhancing substance? There has never been anything like it. Red light therapy is a fad that's not going away. If you enjoyed this presentation, please share it with someone that you love on social media. And if you want to try red light therapy for yourself, check out our handheld, our body light mini, and our full body light, small, medium, and large, for the ultimate red light therapy experience. Just go to endalldisease.com store. And if you want to learn more about red light therapy, check out my book, Red Light Therapy Miracle Medicine. It's number one right now on Amazon. Also, I wrote two books on cancer, one on the cancer industry and one on cancer, the metabolic disease, both of which include over 2,500 scientific and clinical references. No more research needs to be done on cancer to put the disease behind us forever. To check out all my books, go to endalldisease.com slash books. And for the show notes and to sign up for our mailing list, go to endalldisease.com slash episode 15. I'm Mark from endalldisease.com. Thank you for listening. I hope you got a lot of value out of this. And in some way, however large or small, it changes your life. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe, comment below, and let me know what you thought of this video. Thank you.